All right, guys, I am going to go over a little bit about working with numbers in Excel. Um, so the first important concept you want to understand when working with numbers in Excel is that Excel does distinguish between numbers and text. You usually won't find it have an issue, but occasionally you will. So what you want to look out for is if it's a number, if Excel thinks it's looking at a number, it's going to make it right justified like this. If Excel thinks what it's looking at is text, they're going to be left justified like this. Usually it won't matter because I can still sum these. I can do a sum here and do a sum here and Excel realizes, oh, these really are numbers and it adds it up for me and it formats my answer as a number. Um, so it usually won't matter, but occasionally you will run across those issues, especially oftentimes you will paste something from one source into Excel and you will end up with something like this. See, I've got this little warning uh, sign here. I've got these red triangles in the corner telling me there's something wrong. So I can click on this. It tells me the error. Number is stored as text. Excel saw, hey, these are numbers, but they're formatted as text. I can do this to convert them to number, and there we go. So the other thing to understand about, about uh, uh, numbers in Excel is formatting. Um, so there are a number of ways you can format uh, cells in Excel. And the way you do that is you're going to select them. You're going to right click, bring up this format cells. There we go. And then this number tab is what we want to look at. So you can see all my uh, all my number formats here. General is the default. Um, you're not going to see any changes there, but we can do number. So we go here to number. Number is just a generic. This is a number. You've got two options you can set here. You can increase the number of decimal places and you can choose to use a 1000 separator. So there we go. And if we make this 3000, you can see my number separator there. Okay, so we also have the currency type. So here you can set the number of decimal places. Usually you're going to use two, but you could be working with fractions of cents. You can change the, the, the currency symbol you're using here. I'll keep it with dollars, tell it okay. There we go. Now you can see it just turns these all to dollar amounts. I'm going to make this one a negative here just so we can see it on the next one. So you can see this is now negative $1. So the next format option we have is accounting. So the big difference is with accounting, you've still got the number of decimal places, you've still got the symbol. The big difference with accounting is, one, it moves these dollar symbols over to the left, but it also makes your negative numbers show up in parentheses rather than with a negative symbol. Those are really the only real differences. I suspect if you are working with accounting numbers, you'll know what you're, why you need to do that. Um, so currency is gonna be what most people need, but if you are using Excel for accounting, that's how you do it. Okay, so the next thing is date. I have a whole video on working with dates in Excel. I will put, uh, I will put the, the link to one up here somewhere. Uh, the thing to understand about working with dates is a lot. Uh, dates are stored as numbers in Excel. So let's, yeah, let's change these to dates. So you can see if I change this to a date, there we go. So these numbers are now dates. Basically when Excel, oh, it's a negative number. So there we go. Uh, basically dates in Excel are counting the number of days since January 1st, 1900. So you can see number one is January 1st, 1900. Number two is January 2nd, 1900. If I change these back to general, you can see that. There we go. A lot to be said on dates. Check out the other video. I'll put a link to it in the description too. Um, time, similar to dates. Uh, the thing to understand about time is it's just looking at the fraction of your number. So if we make this 
and change this to a tie, you'll see that that's now 12 noon instead of 12 a.m. because halfway between midnight and midnight is 12 p.m. Again, I go more into this on the video on dates and times in Excel. So let's move on to percentage. This is a big one. Uh, here in a percentage, you're gonna set the number, number of decimal places and you're going to, uh, it's going to add a percentage sign. So let's actually do it down here. This will make more sense. Since these are not whole numbers. There we go, 50%, 75%, 83%. Again, all that's doing is changing the display. Here you can also, if we wanted to see these as fractions instead of percentages, we could. It lets you choose how many digits you want in your fractions. So if I just do one, it's gonna round it to that. If I do two, It'll round my fraction to 39 47 like that and so on you're not gonna often need to be working with in, with fractions in excel but in case you do that's how you do it uh, scientific notation if you need to be using scientific notation you know why you need to sci use scientific notation and i'm not going to go into it here just this is how you switch to scientific notation and this is how you adjust the number of decimal places. Uh, the last, one of the last options here is we have text. If I tell it text, it's just gonna say, oh, these numbers are text and move them over to the left column for me. And then finally, we have the special, um, which you're gonna use mostly for formatting things that aren't really numbers in the sense that you aren't gonna need to add them. So if we go to special, so we can see, okay, this is a phone number. Let's format it as a phone number. It does that, puts the parentheses in and the dashes. Same with social security number. Let's go to special social security number. There you go. Zip plus four. Same thing. It's just gonna, just gonna mask these numbers the way you need to see them. Uh, and then the final one is custom, which is well beyond the scope of this video. But if you wanted to have a custom number format, you could do it here. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe for more.